So this is back in August. This was my fourth term of film school. I've just finished my fifth term. I actually wrote and directed for this term just gone. You can actually watch what we made, it's linked below. But for this video it was term four and I was production designer. So quickly what that means is that I pretty much designed everything the camera looked at. Costume, that was for me. I had to go get props. I had to go to this really weird props, like medical props warehouse at one point. There were so many like weird, creepy like babies. That was strange. I was organizing all of the makeup. Let's just say it was an experience. And about this term in terms of the creative stuff, it is a studio build. We had location days and it's black and white. And if you're into any kind of film and filmmaking stuff, do subscribe. I'm about to start making my grad film and I will more than happily share that with you guys. So if you love a bit of cheeky behind the scenes stuff, stick around because there'll be so much of that. You'll probably be sick of it, honestly. But without any further ado, this is the set I built last summer. I went to the unit before me set, to their set strike and have salvaged loads of stuff. So I get to cancel a lot of my order that I placed. This is, I'm in a warehouse. I ordered stuff from here, but I can cancel most of it because I've got it from the other unit. So I'm saving us lots and lots of money. It's very exciting, but now I need to like, look for a couple things. I know so many guys who should go here. <laughs> what? It's great! I love it! Hello, good evening. So I went up with the unit who was shooting in there before me. I had a good route around. I helped them strike their set, so I helped them get rid of everything. Because it's basically prep for me tomorrow. It was nice to see some other people in my course. Because of Covid, some of them I was talking to, I was like, when was the last time I saw you? We were all like, uh probably last year at some point. It's just nice to see people in person. Went and got my floor, my skirting board. I cancelled like 70 pounds off an order for something because I just got it from all the stuff that was around there. So that was honestly great. I had mum do my hair. I have the hairband in because it's extra cute. So hopefully this keeps it out of my way because there's just so much of it at this point that I'm like, I don't want to accidentally, I don't know, saw a bit of it off and then be like, oh, shit. Tomorrow we build my set. So that's kind of mad. This is the least stressed I've been all month. Like it's, it, it's, I always, the thing is, and I do this every single time. And then I'm always like surprised when it happens. I stress myself out in pre-production so that everything gets done and then I've, because I've got stress and I, I do catastrophize when it comes to pre-production and stuff but because I've catastrophized I've ticked all my boxes so when I actually get to set there shouldn't touch wood it shouldn't be that many problems god I stressed so much about this I was editing my vlog from a couple weeks ago and it's like mad seeing like how much even just old drawings just how out of date they are like it's like that was a lifetime ago and it feels like a lifetime ago but it's like eight o'clock now i'm in my pajamas i'm probably going to go to bed soon get some good sleep because i was just setting my alarms for do you want to see my alarms if this horrifies you this isn't an industry for you i think i've done everything 
I fucking hope so. I'm like almost panicked a little bit because I'm like, have I actually done my to-do list? I'm gonna take you to set tomorrow. To a large extent, this is the home stretch. And I haven't even built my set yet. I will see you tomorrow morning, bright eyed and a bushy tailed. Good morning. This is my fit for the day. And shoes. I bought these ages ago and I'm so excited to wear them. You can't really see it. This t-shirt is like, it's got like a boat party on it. It's a t-shirt from one of my friend's 21sts when we went to Prague and we were <laughs> booze cruise and it was great. We got smashed. It was fantastic. And I didn't even know I had a t-shirt of this. I needed like a t-shirt that like, if it gets paint on it, I'm like, I'm not gonna cry about it. So I, <laughs> I don't know, it made me laugh. I was like straight back there. God, that was so long ago. That was almost three years ago. I get to build a set today. That's kind of bad. I'm a little... No, I'm excited. I'm only excited. Yes! Let's go! Okay, okay, okay. It's me and my mum. <laughs> Excited. <laughs> He's so excited. <laughs> oh, you're more excited about being on my. Amazing. The windows aren't real. Ugh. These are our flats. These are our windows. These are our braces. And that's Sid. He didn't realise you could scan the barcode on the. Um... <laughs> I have to censor that. I think so. We need a better answer than I think so. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Feel me do the other one so you've got all of this pressure on you. Oh, wow, Sid. It's gonna be good. Ah, oh, Sid's so strong. <laughs> and that, how oh, you do it? <laughs> Watch you fuck it up. That's how you do it. <laughs> I'll add some sound effects for you. We're very supportive, aren't we, Sid? Yes, very, extremely, extremely. And extremely overexposed. <laughs> Something that really is a camera. Fuck off. Get out of my way. Oh, mum, it's over now. Mm. Oh my god, oh my god. Can you give us a house tour, Semyon? <laughs> give us a house tour. House? Welcome to my luxury apartment. <laughs> yes, you can rent it on oh, Airbnb. Oh wow, how much? <laughs> like 10,000 pounds per day. Oh, those are London prices, no way. <laughs> yes. I film this way, very good. I'm not going to cut the top off now. Have I screwed this in? Yeah. Don't mind me being backlit and the cherry picker. Um, but there's like random box arrived and I was like, what is that? It was an Ikea box for me, but I bought a lot of the stuff in it from other units. I can return like 90% of it, which is really exciting. Um, and hopefully all of it. So I've like, labelled it. <laughs> Today I taped the sofa so that no one... Oh, will... everyone's gonna sit on it. Damn it, so I mean, just get in the chair. No will be sit in the chair. <laughs> Oh, that is quite comfy though. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is quite nice. Clean it up for free. What the fuck? What the fuck is that about? Hard at work. Oh, very chill. Oh, hiya.
Where's Jade? Jade. We did it. We're getting there. Yay! Sid, did you have a nice day? <laughs> We've done a lot. Tomorrow, We've wallpapered what we can. Probably. What, you'll be happy then or? Will you be I happy ever? Like my, my body, mind and soul will be recharged by tomorrow afternoon, not tomorrow morning. Yeah, not by tomorrow morning. Okay, um, are we going to McDonald's? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, let's go to McDonald's. Copy that. <laughs> Where? Gem, wave. Do you want to be on the vlog? Yeah. Wave. Yeah, Say hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Sid's sick of my bullshit already. <laughs> it's been a day, you're sick of me already. I can see it in your eyes, you're like, fuck off. I have to, I have to say Okay, so I'm long. not supposed to do that. Okay, can I do something else? Yes. Like, with my hand? <laughs> do whatever you want. <laughs> you're disgusting. I don't understand. <laughs> That's literally all you can see in the stop. We're painting today, so I've dug out like, I just dug out whatever I could find at the bottom of my wardrobe. I don't understand. One. Deep water fish. Oh my god. <laughs> Wee. Well, that was anticlimactic. You know, it's, I mean, it's water based, but it's still not very easy to wash. <laughs> Shut up, Semyon! <laughs> you know, oh, it's going green. See. You'll see. Is it going to go darker? No. Yeah. It is like a fancy cake, you're <laughs> so right. Let's keep going. <laughs> you said a terrible noise. How's film school going? Um, I'm sat in a parking lot with a bucket of paint. This is actually really nice. Wow. It's kind of become a duck egg blue. It's actually quite nice. Um, but this is what it's going to look like in black and white. Pretty happy with that, to be fair. Make it so straight. Uh, it was teamwork with me and Semyon. I got Semyon to like mark out where it was, put on the masking tape, and then I painted it. Cool. Dreamwork makes for dream. <laughs> dreamwork. Teamwork <laughs> makes for dreamwork. Now my hands are full. Hold up Wow, 
very nice colour, but it's way too light. Hey, Emma. Oh, you are mix, mixing? Yeah. Oh. Great, now I need to go root around for some dust. Emma! Anna? Here we go. It's quite funny as it dries. What? It looks totally it looks so shit right now while it's dry. Like half dry and half wet. Yeah. yeah. I like my favorite vlog person because you're so done with me the entire time. Day, day three, day three. I need to go get some tea and a bunch of stuff to bring up with me. Oh, I have to carry so much stuff now. <laughs> First day was like construction stuff. Um, today, yesterday, sorry, we finished wallpapering and painting and then start dressing. <laughs> Good morning. Hi there, welcome. Show, show us what we have so far. So we've got some contemporary modern urban living here. For only 950 a month, you could really realise yourself in Enfield. <laughs> the new heart of London. Look at all this space, what you could do. A kitchen, maisonette, bedroom thing. Everything <laughs> happens in here. You could have a coma, <laughs> you could have a blackout. <laughs> Don't worry, the torches are easy to find. You can definitely fit a ventilator and a medical bed just uh, right here. This could be your daughter's bedroom where you get ready for some reason. By the way, you know you've like messed up most of the, <laughs> most of the wallpaper, doesn't that? Oh, well, I bet I bet that's actually going to ruin the movie. I bet everyone's going to spot no, that. No, everyone's going to notice this. And actually. Like, yeah, I, think you, I think you guys matched up maybe twice in I total. Think, I think basically we ruined the movie. Yeah, you didn't match up my wallpaper. Everything's fucked. Well, look, that's what you get in this kind of cheap living, right? You want to live in some expensive house, buy. I mean, this is the renters can, I, can I afford a, a wall? Don't you dare put any blue tack on this. <laughs> now we get to spend the rest of the day right? destroying it. That'll be it? your whole deposit gone. Oh, it's got glitter on it as well. <laughs> Good morning. I'm going to dye some curtains today. In a bucket of tea. The whole thing's slightly brown rather than like patches of dirt. No, it needs to be, the whole thing needs to be taken down. All right, fair enough. See, it does not want white. So I've got now, as you can see the curtain rods are up, I have um, decorative curtains and then like a net of curtains, so I've got these, I've only got two, so what I'm going to do is going to cut them in half to make it four.
Kitchen. Hi MTV, welcome to my crib. <laughs> Excellent. The grand tour. Right. Interview the living room. Right. So this is our corridor leading to the living room, and we have a. <laughs> <laughs> we have some dead body here under the sheets. He's been dead <laughs> since the 90s. <laughs> We have some some tree. I don't know. <laughs> Did you just call me a tree? <laughs> Next to the dead body because hey guys, we're gonna death in a second by the way. He actually looks like a yeah. tree. Yeah. It's like tree brothers. Yeah. yeah, oh why are we doing this instead of going to McDonald's? You can because leave. Him, it's, it's raining. raining. So here is our old bedroom of the kid and our masterpiece. Right. So the bus decor thing and her drawings, little stickers, everything. And on this side, this is also our pride and joy. Amelia. <laughs> Amelia. What is what is her name? Nobody knows. I swear to God, if you change it now, I'm gonna kill you. I did the thing where I hoarded stickers to say that there's something special. So now I've decided to use it. Well, I guess this is my something special, right? Yeah. See how it works. No, like, oh, this was cute. I need to finish this, I guess. With that. We've got the ages going on, so... This is kind of where we're at. I guess it kind of looks like a house. Um, now we're going to McDonald's. We are actually going to go... For God's sake! You do that again, it's my fucking mask. Yeah. Don't put me in a mask. I'm unstoppable, bitch. <laughs> Like why though? My box of stoof. You need to bring your dirty laundry with me. Oh god, help me. Trash is a box of glory. We made it. Boxes, rain and all. John had to walk in the rain. I feel bad. Anyway, so today we're set dressing. So we're just putting like finishing touches. As you can see, we need it. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm pleased with this one. Woo! Everything is meant to be here. It looks like I'm supposed to move it, but that's the point. So, let's do some more. Height of the bedside table was a bit weird. Yes. But now it looks better. Are you adjusting the height for the. Oh, it's still the same size. That's the right way around because you've got the barrier here. Yeah. That swings up. In fact, oh, can we put those up? Yeah, they do it kind of. No, yeah. so like if you look at the pivots, good if we could rest up the head ever so slightly. Can we do. Can we, can we pull this up? Yeah. How yeah. does this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it spins around. Ah! Sick. I'm Good turning everything on. Oh, we're done with the fuse box. Yeah, oh. me, guys. Don't worry. Very nice. House lights. Woo. No way. Looking good. I mean, the backlight on this just looks quite cool. Don't leave us. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, those are wrong. Shorts and stripy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Literally, literally everybody was creasing. They were like, I don't think I've seen anybody like enjoy a walk less <laughs> between us when she gets dressed by the no. girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, button down shirt and tie with shorts sort of shit. Speed. Hello, welcome to our set. We finished it now. So it's. We have a hallway, which looks to ignore how empty it is, but we do have a fuse box up there. Anyway, we have the furniture. Very exciting. I'm, how, I don't know how to get this down anymore, so. The bed works, the ventilator works. We've decorated even my plants and my fucking macrame that I'm truly excited about. I've made, they've made this set and I've pinned the curtains together. So don't touch them. <laughs> don't touch anything. Um, and all of the junk that I basically took pictures of the mess when I got home last night and shoved it everywhere. So now it's no longer mess, it's set dressing. So I've made lots of passive aggressive notes that say don't touch anything. It's not mess, it's air dressing. We all bought this, so, cause that would have been bad otherwise. And now we have more trash. We love more trash. And here we have even more trash and more junk. Um, and a lot of stickers. I was sticker hoarding, but now we use them for things. Oh no, oh never mind. Try not to wreck a lot of stuff before I turn it. This is the children's room. I'm very excited about this wallpaper. And these stickers. And that skirting board isn't actually attached. Because I put it down to attach it and then I completely forgot to tell Rob, so there we are. And then this thing that we spent ages on. Which is apparently not going to be in shot at any point, but that is not the point, so it's fine. I know it's there, and that's what matters. And yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. And I'm always coming in, finding somebody asleep in the bed, asleep in the sofa, or sat here at the vanity. Yeah. Okay, and now I have to remember where everything goes before we move it, but that's fine. Ease what it is. Thank you, John. <laughs> it was so annoying. <laughs> And then we moved on to our studio days. I didn't really film anything because I was AD first assistant director, so I had my job to do. But as PD, I think the set came out really well and I think it supported the story, so I don't think there was more I could have asked for. And then our last day was our set strike. Um, and then a couple days after that was our get out. So the strike, we get rid of all of our stuff. The get out, we got rid of all of school stuff in the studio. And then that was us wrapped. Yeah, who, which other genies could have packed up the that way? Right, you're bouncing. Goodbye. Yeah. Don't get run over. Yeah. Not you. Him. Goodbye, Sid. You did nothing today. Who is he? John? Yeah. <laughs> It's me. 
Oh, Cleopatra! I Cleo. actually can't get out of this. <laughs> Why are you whinging? Oh, the table can support his weight. I'm not gonna have any more to write my script when I go back. It's gonna be useless day. And that was that for this term, especially with the amount of workload that we had. The previous term we'd done to this was a documentary term, so a step up to this term was really really big to be quite honest at times massively massively overwhelming and it was a very steep learning curve let me tell you something but i'm very happy to have production design for this term i think that was super important for me now looking back having completed my next term i think that helped me a lot in terms of how i handled everything then as a director that's why i like schools teaching ethos so much they make you do everything because it will always feed back into everything else that you do and that's just how i like to think about filmmaking and how i like to approach my projects that was a good term the time i've just had was a good term so on to grad film and graduating thank you very very much for watching and like i said before if there's any film videos you would like to see let me know down below you can find me pretty much everywhere at sarcastic fish like subscribe and all that jazz and i'll see you guys very soon goodbye